Here's my uh, one of my ant colonies that I have. It's a Laceus Neo Niger, and I just turned on a light to get them to move out of this test tube. Um, I tried about a month ago, but it still had about a quarter inch of water behind the the cotton ball in there. But uh, now it's it's pretty bad, and it's uh, getting pretty gross in there. So hopefully, I'll get them to move into this uh, Tar Hill Ants uh, formicarium that I purchased about a year ago. Uh, there is a total of about 10 or so 11 workers and uh, the, out, the rest are out foraging right now. I just added in a, a fresh dubia and a little puddle of um, syrup in there for them to eat. But hopefully they'll move out pretty soon. You can see one of the workers feeding the queen using trephalaxis. I'll attach my macro lens on here and see if that helps any with uh, clarity. Maybe a little bit. Should get some more trafalexis going on here. Looking pretty uncomfortable with the, the heat from the light and the, bright, the brightness of it. Hopefully one of those workers will discover the new home and start the move. She's looking pretty uncomfortable and starting to move towards the opening. I just brought them out of hibernation not too long ago, so there's no, no babies or anything like that. There's no eggs or brood. I forgot the proper name for their hibernation, their type of hibernation. Here she comes making her way back towards the old home. All of the workers are hanging out at the entrance to their test tube. It's fairly dark on that end, so you won't be able to see if I move the camera over. But we'll come back and show you them after they moved, if they move. Let's see if you can see this. One of the workers has a bead of maple syrup hanging from its jaws. The, the bottom left there. It, it pulled it out to feed the queen but she decided not to feed on it. So he's just kind of, she, uh, she is just kind of holding it there in her jaws waiting for one of the other workers to feed off of it. I guess.
<laughs> I've never seen that before. Very cool. Oh, it dropped it on the side of the, the test tube there. Very interesting. <laughs> the workers are trying to, uh, some of the workers that discovered uh, the cooler area of the tube are starting to pull the other workers and also they're tugging on the queen to get her to move. They're having not much success with her, but with other workers they are. There goes one right now. <laughs> this is always interesting. This is kind of what happened last time. Uh, half of them kind of want to stick with the queen and she doesn't want to move. Here, let's move the camera so we can see her a little bit better. Kind of see what's going on with the brew or her and her workers. She's starting to twitch her her abdomen, uh, usually as a sign of discomfort. Usually is followed by her moving as well. Try to get a little better focus. I'm going to move the camera back a little bit. So most of the workers are agreeing that the end of the tube is much better than where she is. So we'll probably see more tugging on her very shortly. Here comes a little mob of workers right now. speeding off. <laughs> We're going to focus the light more exactly where she is so that hopefully it will get her to be more encouraged to move. These squares are one centimeter wide, or square, <laughs> so you can see that she is pretty much one centimeter long. The clarity of this filming is not very good. The, the tube is very gross and quite stained in the inside. Sorry about that. All right, we'll come back once the more movement is happening. Okay, all of the 
Lacius Neo Niger are in the transfer the the connecting tube which connects the um, test tube to the new enclosure or formicarium. So what I'm going to do is pull the test tube out and then try to cork off the other tube. If that's not possible, I'm just going to push it inside and then close it off. So hopefully that's not a fail. Uh, the cork's too big, so what we're going to do is push the whole thing in, try not to damage anyone, and then plug off the hole with the... There we go. That wasn't too bad. So now they are all in the new enclosure. Uh, Formicarium, I keep saying that. A little bit of craziness here for a few minutes they figure out what's going on and then they move into the new setup let me try to change this here there we go if you're familiar with the Tar Heel Ants this is uh, I forgot the name of this one but it has a little formicarium built inside an outworld so shouldn't take them long to figure it out there's really only one other place they can go that has good moisture and the moisture is fed in with this tube here you fill that with water and it it gives them a place to drink water and it also gives humidity to the to the formicarium right there and then this is their new outworld as well it's a pretty cool little setup here's how it looks Looks like I managed to do that without causing any damage to anyone, so pretty happy about that. Alright, we're going to go put them back in their dark area so they can settle in. I don't want to stress them out too much. That was pretty stressful having them move like that. Alright, so I just found one of my grandma stole the poker peas starting to molt. So let's start recording it and let's do another time lapse. Here's one of my Monocytropus balfouri molts out of one of my communals. I was under the impression that um, 
and if they had a blue carapace that they were a male but as you can see on this one this is a female and it just molted out with a slightly blue carapace and so I was totally mistaken there's a one gland there and the other one right there very happy with that that is awesome so I guess I don't have seven males <laughs> but. okay so we have one more to do this is a uh, postletheria subfusca highland and um, let's see if we're aimed up all right we got it good now let's check and see There's a little bit of something popping up there, but this is a very small specimen. It just molted last night. Oh, oh, oh! I see them. Let's see if we can get it focused in a little better for you guys. This is the hard part is lousy at focusing I still haven't 3d printed out a focusing mechanism yet okay all right so right there they are yellow and they are right there I keep moving the paper that it's on there they are watch when I Move this here. We'll, we'll keep messing with it until we, we're 100 percent, though. Would be very happy if this is a female because this one's no longer able to ship over state lines. And I had three, but one passed away very early. And I have this one and one that's about twice the size of this one. I'm waiting for it to molt. I'd say this is a female, but, oh yeah. I keep on saying, oh yeah, but it's hard to see. There's definitely something there. I think that's about as good as we're going to get focus wise. I believe they're right there. A couple times I got them to separate, but it looks like the two tops are connected. There's quite a bit of water from the soaking I think it's connecting the two just using some toothpicks to kind of manipulate it let's try to spread it apart this way see if we can get them to maybe I can use the syringe to suck some water off of them whoops Oh, great. There we go. Let's use the syringe to see if we can get some water off of there, and maybe we can dry them out a bit with this. Let's use a paper towel instead. Just a little corner of the paper towel. Let's see if we can dry them out a bit. Boop. Let's use another corner. Okay, let's give it a try now. Okay, am I looking at the right area? Okay. 
This is by far the smallest one I've checked so far. Really hard to tell. It does look like there is two deals down in there. Maybe we won't uh, say this is a female right off the bat, but we'll call it a suspect. And uh, we'll give a few more molts. Checking each time until we guarantee it. But uh, yeah, I, I believe it's a, a female. But we're going to call it suspect female. Good enough for me. Thanks for watching my video. If you happen to enjoy it, please like, share, and subscribe. Here's the button to subscribe. There's a video that's recommended for you. And here's my playlist for AGT Exotics videos. Catch you next time.